Good morning. Just finished breakfast at camp here. And before I go on today's adventure, I want to show you guys how I pack up my kitchen. It's gonna be different for everybody and everyone's needs are different, but this is what I do. I have a GSI Outdoors 1.5 liter camp pot, which has pretty much been everything I've needed to cook and eat, brew coffee. There's other ways of doing it. I'll show you how we do it with this one. I take the uh, empty pot, clean and dry after this morning's breakfast. This is the bag it came in, which has been very handy. Camp fuel. Um, this is that uh, butane propane mix. This one is one of those 220 gram ones. If you're with more people, this will might do you. You need a bigger one. If you're going solo for only a day or two, you could go with the smaller one. The thing I like about this, 220 gram, fits right in. It's the first thing in our cook kit. I keep a simple Smith's knife sharpener, pull-through sharpener with a file for serrated blades. I like to wrap everything in uh, paper towels. One, so I have extra paper towels. Two, I've noticed that if there's any space near, things clank around while you're backpacking. So that goes right in next to the camp fuel. What I have here is a leak-proof bag. This might be redundant, but what I keep in here is pre-made instant coffee slash creamer packets. I'll show you this in a separate video, but I did this with my own food saver. Single serving portions have been extremely handy. I also keep an electrolyte mix in here, same thing. I actually do a double serving in here. I may change that, but they're very useful for when you're gonna fill up your water bottle, fill up your coffee mug, whatever you're doing. Hmm. So, that tucks right in next to our fuel, next to our sharpener. I keep one maybe a second, small lighter, two little Bix uh, in there. Again, always good to just wrap them in a piece of paper towel, stop the clanging around, and it snugs things up inside of the cook kit. So we tuck that in right in the side. Mini toothpaste slides in. Toothbrush, cut the handle off. Not necessarily for weight, some people do that. Now, because I cut the handle off, it fits in my cook kit. So we'll slide that right in. So right now the cook kit's got fuel, toothbrush, drink mix, knife sharpener, two lighters, toothpaste. I'm gonna take another paper towel and slide it in next to the fuel and next to the last item in here so that there's no clanging around. It's a metal kit. You don't want to be making a ruckus in the woods. This is an MSR pocket rocket stove with the retractable arms. Folds down real nice. I've actually taken it out of the case because the case is a little bulky. Um, and what I do is I keep a bandana, which also acts like a good pot grip, and I wrap it up to protect it and to stop the metal on metal clanging around. And I lay that right in on top. This is not mandatory, but before I went on this trip, I made some cookies, so I figured let me treat myself. Actually, let's have a cookie this morning, huh? You earned it. Boom, you're for later, you're for later, you're for now. Really what I have here is a plastic bag that I like to keep in the cook kit so that anything messy, any packets that I open up, <clears throat> any little garbage I can put in a sealed bag that I'll then put in my food kit that at night I'll hang in a tree 
if you're in bear country. However, that's for another video. It's individual cookie, not crucial. Goes on top, and that's our cook kit right there. What I like to do, take the top. The thing I like about this GSI is that this rubber coated handle squeezes in and folds in on top, keeps everything secure. My last little trick for you is I'll take a few individual sheets of paper towels, always good to have something to clean up or to burn or for whatever reason you need. I wrap it around the edge of the cook kit and then it all goes back in the original bag it came from. You can modify this however you like, but maybe this will give you some ideas as to how to pack your kitchen. the drawstring and that's it. I have a separate bag for food but this is our whole kitchen. Thanks for watching.